Pasta is the perfect midweek meal. It's easy, quick and delicious. And here with one of his amazing recipes and the biggest wheel of cheese I have ever seen <laughs> is Chef Luca Ciano. G'day, how Thank are you? you? Thank you very Look much. Look at this. What is this? It was sitting at home. And I thought, well, let's bring it on Sally today and do a is little bit of a fun uh, cook-off with it. Giant Parmesan cheese. Giant Parmesan Reggiano, 24 months old. And I'm doing a very, very simple cheese, but with a whole Parmigiano theme. And I thought, I had this generally at home for an event coming up. Wow. Come on, let's bring it on Sally. I'm sure it's going to look a million bucks. And nice. we'll finish it off by tossing it All in All right, well, how does let's it sound? get started. Makes perfect sense. Can, I, can we actually try Yeah, a have a bit of a chip. That's how I dug out the so whole inside. dig it out with it. Here, there you, go. you go. Here you go, Dr. Ross. Okay, thank you. Have a and bit of a try. You just sit at home just with your big wheel of cheese, just, just having a nibble. That was, should be the whole idea. Oh, oh, how good is that? Oh, Everybody wow. likes cheese around here today? Yeah. 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 That's going to be all the inside out that has to be eaten. Anyway, I'm going to get cracking with this dish. It's okay. very, very simple. Mm. A drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. Yep. To keep it within the region, Emilia Romagna, that's where Parmigiano comes from, mm -hmm. I got some prosciutto di Parma. So the, actually, a lot of people don't know, the pigs get to drink the whey left over from the production of Parmigiano Reggiano. So prosciutto di Parma Chasey and Parmigiano pigs. Reggiano has a very, very strong Can you use connection. Any, any type of prosciutto? Or is it, does it have to be specific to uh, that prosciutto? Look, you're talking to an Italian, so yeah, in my book, it's gonna be <laughs> prosciutto di Parma. Got it. But, but the answer is, of course, you can, you can use any type of uh, a prosciutto. You can use pancetta. Uh, you can use spec, you can use uh, even salami as far okay. as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then, meanwhile, over here, plenty of salted boiling water. Yes. Mm -hmm. Pasta goes in, Doc. Please right, okay. pop it in. Give it a very good lot. stir. We want the whole lot. That's it. That's tagliatelle. And that over is... here, forgive me, I made it earlier because it's going to taste mm -hmm. so much better. We're going to have that cream of Parmigiano Reggiano going to dress my pasta. Okay. That means so what's there's, in that? Um, there's two parts of meal to one part of cream and hell of a lot of Parmigiano Reggiano. Because we don't... A lot, a lot. A lot, a lot, okay. And for fun uh, numbers, I've used a 36-month-old Parmigiano in there to really give a very strange kind of Parmigiano flavor. So this flavor. is only the 24-month-old baby? Only, that's, that's 24. And then I made a little uh, crisp that I slowly baked in the oven. Ooh. I've used a younger a Parmigiano, 18 months old, because it has a higher moisture content, and that already does need to evaporate. So you age your Parmas in the same way you age an, a newborn? <laughs> um, <laughs> when do they become Yeah, years? pretty much, okay. pretty much. But they only left them in uh, in kind of a dark room, sitting in the dark, which we don't do with babies. If but yeah, we're not. Uh, if the cheese starts off. walking, don't eat it. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so Parmigiano. So what was that? Parmigiano is cooking away with the bottom part of the zucchini flowers. We got ah, zucchini flowers the already topic. shredded. We're gonna yep. use them later on to decorate. And to keep it a bit springy, even though I know it's a bit of a rich kind of dish with the cheese, mm. we got some uh, fresh peas as well. All Beautiful. of these are gonna go in. So one, two, three. And now. I, I just, this is doing its job there. I don't, I don't Doc, feel you're like doing a really great job. Beautifully. Well, pasta's beautifully. pretty much it for me. Yeah, right. Water and pasta. A really so, great job. How long would, the, would all this take to actually do a pasta? Pasta generally takes uh, about two minutes to cook. So we're going to drain that. Do not be afraid to use some of the cooking water to keep the dish Never nice and moist. Never afraid to use some of the cooking water. How clever is that pot? It is, isn't it? Yeah. Now, turn the heat off over here and uh, just allow, with a touch of the cooking water, which is pasta best friend, yep. to start binding this together. Yep. Binding. And while I got this here, a and little bit goes straight in. in here. Okay. This is really low calorie, isn't it? Oh, yeah, you gotta go, uh, yeah, to the gym tomorrow. <laughs> Doc? Actually, for that yeah. week. And then finally. Oh, you put this... it in the cheese. Oh, darling, that's why I brought it. Oh Otherwise, my God. what else? How yeah, fantastic. Right. Now, the warmth of the pasta and the warmth of this beautiful cheese sauce oh. is okay. gonna make the most amazing combo. That's extravagant. And what I wanted to do today, but was dangerous in studio, they say no, I was gonna put some booze and flame it up to soften the actual <laughs> wheel. Cause you see- Who made that decision? I, wa I, wa yeah. <laughs> no, I wonder. Was killjoy who said no I, I to I wonder. That. And as I'm, I mean, we don't have time, but ideally I would like to let it sit here for a little bit longer. Zucchini flour, the warmth on the pasta will obviously wool them down nice and gently. If you notice, I put no salt at all because we got prosciutto that will make it Quite a nice and cheese. salty. Yeah. And now I'm going to make an effort to very quickly plate this up nicely. If at home, I think I've done this a couple of times here. Big ladle, get the, the ladle. pasta, try to do the best you can to okay. quickly that looks amazing. do a nice, beautiful yeah. nest straight on the, on the plate. Oh, that's... Then we always want to... That's how you do that. That's impressive. That's how you do that. Oh, that's where I get the applause. Yeah, yeah. On the plate yeah, up. Come on. on the plate up. And then, then a little bit of this. Prosciutto, zucchini. Yes, please, Ange, help me out. I need a, I need a fork. I'm going to have to use I, a couple of That's probably not... 
Oh, that's... All right. So I can't, I can't believe I got the doctor and today. Uh, when, I, when I'm not healthy. No, 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 no. no. Quick, we've got to try it. We're running out of time. Go for it. Oh, no, and then it. just yeah. make a bit of a mess with the Parmesan cream. Uh, right. Chris. Now we make a mess. Thank you. Enjoy. Oh. You tell me what you think. Oh. You better say it was yummy. Oh. It should taste pretty oh. Such amazing, cheesy goodness. I forgot. Mm. A drizzle of Saba, which is a reduced uh, cooked must from the region of Emilia Romagna. Which gives me a bit of sweetness. Another oh, wow, reason to try some more, which is great. Look at Gianna, thank you so much thank for joining us. That thank is amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.